We are in the old BW garage on Ifley Road, um, which has been empty for around two years. It's now owned by Wadham College. We discovered that the space was open, so we found that the door was unlocked, so we just walked into the space um, on New Year's Eve and have been securing the space, making sure it's safe and using it as a space for um, local people who are homeless to sleep here as well as ourselves at the moment and um, yeah, just having a nice space to be in that's a little bit safer and warmer than outside. So we're asking Wadham College to keep this space open for, for four months from the point of entry um, and as there is nowhere else for people to go at the moment, the night shelters are being closed so there really aren't any other options at the moment. They're quite horrendous, horrendous for uh, sub-zero temperatures which can uh, obviously affect the mind, the body as a whole, brain freeze. Uh, aching joints, muscle uh, fatigue. Uh, even when it gets chilly enough, you start shivering. Once that wears off, you semi uh, hypothermic. I've actually uh, jumped off the bench in the bus stop at uh, three or four o'clock in the morning. Reason? Keep chilling the bones to the very core of my being. So I. Uh, <coughs> You know, it's a matter of having to run up and down a little bit to Woodstock Road to warm the body up. Uh. I personally really like it if Warden College took more responsibility for setting a precedent and a good example to their students uh, for compassionate way of living and setting examples for how society could look where we care for each other rather than just ignoring certain people. This is pretty warm in here, we got a heater, uh, I don't know, our bed, sleeping bag, because that's the thing that you're carrying, especially in the winter time, when you're living in the street, when you're homeless. So the most important thing for you when you're spending your nights on the street is to keep yourself warm. Loads of clothes, good sleeping bag, try not to lay on the concrete. And now we got this space. Warm, not raining, dry, safe. Look at the potential here. Can you imagine this place with carpet? Yeah, carpet. Nice. Yeah. We need beds, petition, some areas petition, some open. Mm. Can you imagine what it would be like to see tables and chairs? Those things which uh, a lot of people take for granted actually. All laid out here, people sitting down, having a meal together. Exchange stories. Happy, really happy and content. Knowing that people out there in the communities are with them. And they're gonna make something of this place. Can you imagine the impact it that on their lives? I know what impact it has on my life. And we can do this, can't we, together? We can do this. I'm feeling like I'm becoming a part of the community of the movement who helps for people with spaces like this to make them safe for people who need them. I reckon probably how house um, everybody who's homeless on the streets in Oxford at the moment in this space. Um, safely and securely with not a huge amount of fuss 
um, we just need to we'd need materials that we can easily get hold of and we'd be able to make make it pretty lovely if we knew that we had the time and the space to do that and that it was secure so we could actually invest some more time in it so we were talking about having like pods um, creating sort of tent like structures that were with uh, with electric so that people could have like their own space with electric um, off, off, raised off the ground on pallets or something like that, so quite sort of cheap. We could get mattresses in to go on top of the pallets as well. And we could put even just tents up, makes it a lot warmer. It's a huge space. And there are around 10 or 11 flats upstairs that could also be used for women or people who are more feeling more vulnerable. There's upstairs is another warehouse space, there's the front spaces, there's offices huge amounts of space that could be secured and turned into spaces for individuals who want to be more secure. It's a nightmare around this one. And this modern day and age, it shouldn't be happening. You know? uh, some people go out into the night, they know what they're up against. Uh, the, some of them are advised against the dangers in sub-zero temperatures. Uh, but they might be affected by emotional, mental, physical problems. They might even take a drink or a drug to try and cope with those, the situation they're in. Um, before you know it, they've gone into a state of sleep, hoping to wake up the next day. Once more, and they just don't survive. You know? That's the tragedy of it all. You can imagine what the relatives uh, must feel uh, and uh, someone telling them that their son or daughter, father, mother, sister, uncle, aunt uh, has been found dead in sub zero temperatures. Just think about that for a moment. Uh, you can't compare this with the street, it's just two different things. On the street it's not safe if you're totally on your own, especially if you're gonna see a woman, a homeless woman, which is on her own all the time. It's just not safe for them. And here we can provide the safety for people who need that. Now, I know there are a lot of good people out there in Oxford. If you've got any spare duvets, blankets, even anything that will at all help someone who's homeless, then please make a donation. Mm -hmm.